getting a champion in racial legends that can place decrease defense and weaken in one ability allows you the option to bring other champions that can do other things in the battle. So with decrease defense and weaken taken care of, your champions can do a lot more damage than just when you have just decrease defense out there. So Ryzen is the choice option for that, especially for the um, clan boss or other end game dungeons also where he can also help with the waves by decreasing the atom meter or depleting it by 100 percent so i'm quite excited to have this champion in the noob to pro series because this is the second legendary champion we'll be having on this account i'm not counting simple as one of them so rising is going to be fused in this video and taken to maximum i'm going to take the knight to farm his masteries and we are already doing nightmare with three keys so hopefully he comes in there and helps us do a lot more damage or maybe two key it so it costs one million silver to fuse him cvc is up right now so that should give you some cvc points if you're pulling these legendaries during cvc so that's rising sky hide if this first time you're bring uh, noticing this champion his a1 can remove the increased attack that the boss places on himself and that's what i need him for the most because currently for my um, nightmare clan boss i have no champion that can remove that increased attack boss uh, buff that the boss places on himself so he's on a low chance so you need to book him and when you book him it has a 40 55 percent chance of removing that um, buff that the boss places on himself so on his a2 that's the main skill decrease defense and weaken for two turns and it also hits really hard so that's on the three ton cooldown when you book this skill also and this turn meter decrease depletes decrease the turn meter by 100 percent so i'm gonna use this one especially for the spider he also has an aura for the arena which i've seen him be um used as a defense champion for arenas so with this high amount of resist if you're building a, a resist team that's where you can use this skill the most not in general content so a lot of people don't build resist on him especially unless you have um, different champions using that you're using for the um, clan boss so i intend to use him as my main decrease defense and weakening champion i do already have fame but as you know fame dies faster fame is not that tanky fame cannot remove the increased attack that the boss places on himself so fame can do decrease defense and weaken if you don't have rising let's say there's a force spirit or magic so as you face different bosses you use the right degree defense and weakening champion so fane was the second champion i think i'm seeing in racial legends that can do this on a single um, ability so rising was the only one at first there are other champions like um draco like lydia who can do it on an aoe basis um i think there are other ones but rising is just the first one that i'm seeing that can do it on a single target before Fane came into the into the play. So I fused this champion. I'm gonna quickly take him to 60. I have all the resources ready for him because this noob to pro we need to progress a lot faster than we've been doing. So let me quickly give him some brews and see if we can even get him to 60 in this video. Can I do that? Nah, it's not possible. Just 42. So I'll be taking some time to farm this levels to the highest maximum and um, i also have the red ascension pots all farmed up ready to go so rising will be getting his ascensions fully maxed out i also have books ready for him to show you how prepared i was for rising because if you do not book this champion his decrease defense and weaken will not be um, available a lot in the battle so i um, highly recommend you put books into him also his a1 might not be removing the buff most of the time so he's a champion that should be booked if you need him to do his special abilities for you so those books we are saving it for seal the drake but we still have about two months before seal the drake comes by so by that time we must have gotten some books back from the nightmare or from some other sources in the game that will get seal the drake booked see the drake is not a champion that is compulsory really to book you can use that without books but i prefer to use it on rising because he needs it more than seal the drake so we have this skill fully booked which is not awesome for the spider which we are going to use 
and we also have this one almost fully booked so one more book would have decreased the cooldown and that is the main skill that we need did some book go to the a1 nice no books went to the a1 although we do need the a1 booked also so we do not have enough books for rising yet but hey one finally went to the a1 there we go rising is not fully booked but on the way I do have an epic book to spend also on which champion am I spending epic books on right now? Let's take a look. I think we are working on still where is that name? Our uh, poisoner. Venomage, yes, that's who we we're working on for the epic books because we needed these skills to be on a lower cooldown than they are currently right now so we can farm the dungeons faster so that's what we're spending books on where did it go yes so one more for the cooldown so with this nightmare i have sw finally switched to a clan that beats nightmare so with this new upgrade we will be getting double chests from the nightmare which will give us more chances of getting epic books that we need to get all those things down so i'll be taking rising to 60. i just wanted to hit that record button and show you the process where we're getting taking to 60 not in this video though got him fully booked so tomorrow oh, i don't know if it's gonna be possible tomorrow but i'll try to farm his masteries to full i do have the gems for that 1700 i'm not gonna buy the masteries obviously i'm gonna go to the minota and farm the gems i mean farm the um, scrolls required to get him where he needs to be so he can be fully um mastered and do a lot of damage for the nightmare clan boss um when i do the rising build i will do it live on um, recording so we'll see which is an early game rising build because i do have a late game rising build on my main account but i'm gonna see with the um, gear that we currently have on the account what kind of damage what kind of stats we can put on our rising to do a lot of stuff for us in the game so that's the main thing i wanted to show you in this video i do have one or two more updates i want to check, check out the arena gold medals yes arena gold medals because cvc is currently on or i'll be saving this one rising is on our team now so it's time we start spending some medals on him instead of our dragon team so I think the main thing he needs is accuracy. Razi needs accuracy. So I'm going to be pumping either here or defense. He needs accuracy and defense. So let's put some on accuracy first because if he can land his um, debuff, then there is no point. So let's put some points over there. Nice. Can I do one more? No. <laughs> and defense. Nah, I need just two more battles to get it. So that's where we'll be spending on to get Razin where it needs to be. And maybe later we'll focus on other things. But for now, he's who needs, who needs defense to be level 5 or 6 like others are. So he shouldn't be dying so much or so fast, really. And I wanted to also check out the clan shop. I see there are new items that have been added to the shop, which is the Abita skin dark fallen fragments so with 70 clan gold you can buy one of these that means you need how many hundred basically you need hundred to get the full skin so i'm glad that they added this to the shop so it's not just anybody who has money to buy it you can also get it for free but it's gonna take some time obviously but if you are spending all your clan gold on it i don't think it will take up to a month you can get it less than a month i think if you buy no Clan gold is just once a week that we the shop resets. So there's a limit to how many you can buy, only five. So there's a limit. It will take you a long about two months. No. Is it up to three months? Five a week. You guys do the maths. It seems like it's gonna take some time to get this one. Just like Yannicka Fragments took some players two to three months to get. So a new champion, the one we talked about, has been also been added. Well, not that new. Yakal the Scourge, the one that was recently buffed, he was added as a fragment also. So you do have options now between Yannicka and um, Yakal, who you want to spend your clan gold on. 
So it's nice that they didn't totally take away Yannicka from here. They also left it as an option. So you can decide which one you want to spend Clan Gold. We do have 530 Clan Gold right there. Obviously, I'm not going to spend it on Abita <laughs> um, stuff. We are all about energy and accessories because we've not started farming high levels of the spider. So I'm not sure yet. The week is still fresh. We still have six days to go. I still have more clan quests to pick up. I've already picked up one over here that says something about that team arena. So I'll be spending there to get 200 more clan gold and um, add to that. I just wanted to hit that record button and show you our newly um, obtained resin and how we got him. If you're new to the game and you're thinking of um, if it's going to be possible to get resin, the only way I got resin was because I was doing campaigns and I was spending my um, mystery shards, right? This mystery shards. I was spending it a lot. I was always getting a lot of them and most of the resin rares were gotten from mystery shards. It wasn't from um, ancient shards. I got them from these mystery shards. And whenever you see one of the rares that is needed for a fusion, you shouldn't use them as food. A lot of people did use them as food. So once you see a rare that looks something like this one, well, I can show you right here, but you know what I mean. Those rares that have the little swelly icon, take them immediately to your vault. Like if I check my vault right now, I don't know if I still have some stored over there. I think I took them all out. See, I did, I did take them all out, but see like this one now. That's a rare that is needed for the fusion. This is a rare that is needed for the fusion. I kept all of them until when they are complete. That's when I fuse rising. So the more rares you keep that is needed for the rising fusion, the more easier for you to fuse it when it's all complete. Don't use them as food or keep one copy at least of all the rising rares. That's how you get it really, really fast because this champion will change your account. I'm already past brutal before he came into my account but most players rising is the champion you need to take your damage from a brutal damage to a nightmare damage he needs a lot of defense and i'm gonna do the build when you see that video tomorrow or next hit that like button hit that subscribe so you'll be notified when i post my rising build for the noob to pro series it will be a beginner build obviously it won't be an end game and um, player um, um artifacts and all that so i'm quite excited about having Ryzen. He will be in life still, even if I do have Leech on my team. Um, I don't know who else I'm going to be building with him. I do have options, but you know, affinity is a problem always in these early stages. So I do have a lot of options and champions. I want to build with Ryzen, Occult, Brawler, um, Jareg, and who else? Who else? Terrell. I do have a lot of options that I'm currently building. So Ryzen will be up there on the list. I'll see you guys in the next Noob to Pro series when Ryzen is fully built and um, can shine in Nightmare. And I'll also do a clan boss battle because I saw a comment somebody did request request to see the clan boss run. So I'll do the battle so we can also see how it runs. Congrats to everybody who won that special champion training tournament. Um, the CVC is up. We have other things to focus on. Nari Diffusion. Um, Nari the lucky fusion is still ongoing and I'll be posting updates about that on my main account when there is something worthy to update you on. For now, that's this update for tonight. All about Ryzen, the game changer. Why am I showing this Terrell? We are supposed to be looking at Ryzen. Ryzen Skyhide, welcome to be Noob to Pro. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another update. Good night.